Inside Bobcat Football is sponsored by HEB, Bud Light, and Central Texas Medical Center. Down the sideline, inside the 40, they will not catch him today. The Bobcats are hosting the Bulldogs, and we've got all the highlights. What does it take to return punts and kickoffs? We'll show you. Plus, we caught up with Coach Chisholm to talk volleyball. But first, here's Bill and Coach Fran. Hello, Coach Fran. Here we are at Bobcat Stadium in the President's Suite. This past Saturday, what a football game here at Bobcat Stadium. A nationally ranked Louisiana Tech football team was in town. Uh, fireworks everywhere, offensively in particular. And still one of the takeaways that I had when all was said and done is that Bobcat football team showed a lot of fight, a lot of determination against really some significant odds. Well, you're right. I, I was really proud of our players and our football team for the way they competed and, and fought, as you mentioned. And, uh, you know, it was a great game to watch. A lot of offense, not a single turnover on the night. Um, both offenses uh, really were magnificent all evening. It was hard to slow them down, and they couldn't slow us down most of the night either. And so it, it kind of let it turn into almost a basketball score at the end of the night. You talk about Louisiana Tech and, and their difficulty in, in slowing down the Bobcat offense. Uh, Sean Rutherford, right from the start, uh, I thought there was tremendous balance offensively, but Sean's running of the option game, spectacular. He played a very good game in every aspect. He made two or three throws the other night that were fantastic. He conducted the... Uh, the perimeter and the option as, as good as you could ask for him to do. He was, a couple times he was so late pitching it, uh, which was good. We want him to be the last second pitch that uh, they ended up being forward a little bit and our backs, or our pitch guys have to stay in a little bit better relationship with the quarterback. But that's how well Sean drug it out and made the defense pay. Uh, speaking of defense, Louisiana Tech, <coughs> record setting quarterback, running back, and receiver. Uh, what was the, the defensive game plan coming in trying to slow down the Bulldogs? Well, you know, you hope to uh, make them drive the length of the field. You, you know, you, you uh, hope to control the ball a little bit more than we did. We scored too fast sometimes. I, I remember right before the, the half, I think we scored with 48 seconds to go. So as soon as we scored, I looked at the scoreboard and saw the time, and I thought, oh, gee, too much time left here. And what an ending of the first half, you know, with uh, they go right down and score, and all of a sudden, We've got the ball with about 25 seconds to go, and we almost kick a 57-yard field goal to score. So last minute of the half was a, a pretty good a replica of the rest of the game or the entire game. Yeah, exactly right, Coach. A, a lot of offense there in the first half. 41-34 Bulldogs at halftime. We'll step aside and look at some highlights from the first half of Bobcat Stadium. The Bobcats are looking for an upset of 18th-ranked Louisiana Tech and have the ball on offense first and on the game's first play. Bobcat quarterback Sean Weatherford hooks up with tight end Chase Harper who leaps right over Jamel Johnson on his way for a 14-yard gain. Later in the drive, with the Cats face with third and 10 from midfield, Weatherford dumps a pass over the middle to his favorite target all season, Andy Erickson, who picks up 16 yards on the play and a key first down. Now inside the Lawn Tech red zone, Rutherford with a timely option pitch to Terrence Franks who dives into the end zone to cap off the drive and put the Cats in front early 7-0. After a Bulldog touchdown, the game is tied at 7. In swing Bobcat drive, Marcus Curry takes a handoff and bolts right through the Lawn Tech defense, untouched 55 yards for the score and the Cats are back in front 14-7. After another Lawn Tech touchdown, the game is tied at 14. Matt Nelson kicks off to Javis Gaines, a wax leading kick returner racking 10th in the nation. And Gaines does it again. A 65-yard return before going out of bounds sets the Bobcats up with first and 10 from the Bulldog 35-yard line. The drive continues into the second quarter. Rutherford back to throw, lofts a perfect pass over the shoulder of Bradley Miller who scores his first career touchdown and gives Texas State the lead over the favorites from La Tech 21-14. Now trailing La Tech 28-21, the Cats get creative. A receiver pass from Tim Hawkins, a former starting quarterback for the Bobcats, connects with Marcus Curry whose second touchdown makes it 28-27 after a block PAT. Texas State now trailing 34-27. On third and eight just inside of midfield, Rutherford lobs a pass to Harper on a tight end screen and with a convoy of blockers, a big man has plenty of room to run. In a game full of big plays, Harper makes one of his own, a 43 yards to the Bulldog five yard line. 
Next play of the drive on first and goal. The Bobcats torch the Bulldogs to the running game the entire first half, so why stop now? Curry on the draw scores his third touchdown of the night to tie the score again at 34 piece. But after a late touchdown by the Bulldogs, the Bobcats trail at halftime with the score Louisiana Tech 41, Texas State 34. Coming up next, the Bobcat return game. First half highlights are brought to you by HEB. Right now, inside every HEB, certified meat cutters are working for you. You may not see them, but you'll see their work. All that fresh, 100% pure beef with nothing added but skill and devotion. Others may have guys stocking meat trucked in from who knows where. Is that fresh? No siree, Bob. This is what a real HEB meat cutter looks like at work and at play. No store does more to bring you great beef at low prices than HEB. In the Western Athletic Conference, we play up. It's how we define sportsmanship. And it begins with every player, every coach, and every fan. Because everything we do rises from the foundation of our character. Playing up comes from honesty, dedication, and hard work. Play up is sportsmanship in action, in every game, every day. That's what the Western Athletic Conference is made of. Play up. Pizza Hut's Big Dinner Box puts all your favorites in one epic box so you can build the perfect dinner. The best part, how you fill it is up to you. For a limited time, get two medium one-topping pizzas, five breadsticks with marinara, and your choice of wings, Tuscany pasta, or four stuffed pizza rollers. All just $19.99. And right now, when you order the Big Dinner Box online, score a free two-liter Pepsi. Only at your Pizza Hut. Make it great. How do you show your Bobcat pride? Now you can show it off and keep your money here at Texas State. Because whenever you buy at the University Bookstore at Texas State, that money stays here on campus. Apparel, books, gifts, and much more. Online or in the heart of Bobcat country, find it, get it, and keep it on campus. University Bookstore at Texas State, your bookstore. Football is a game of three phases, offense, defense, and special teams, something the Bobcats have excelled at all season. Erickson from the five wants to return. Andy on his feet at the 10, still moving. Breaks another tackle to the 15-yard line, breaks another to the 20. Coming back left, 25-30. Erickson breaks a tackle to 40, near sideline. 45 on his feet and down. We work this thing called stumble drill and practice work. You uh, put your hand down and get back up, and that happened to me in the game. And I put my hand down and got back up. When I looked up, all I could see was just green to the left. So I just took off to the left and you know was running as fast as I could for I think about about 45 yards and, and finally got caught. Our special teams have, have had a chance to set the table for us. We probably wish we could have set the table a few more times in some of those losses, but our our team has seen, has fed off of some of the things that Andy and Japheth, our kickoff return unit, our punt return units have been able to, to, to do on the field as far as shorten the field for the offense and, uh, you know, and in the punting game, the ability to lengthen the field for the, the defense. First goal as a returner, as a punt returner, is to have the football after the play. When someone punts the ball, it turns into an offensive play as a punt returner and your team's getting the ball. And the first goal, like I said, is to have the ball. Second goal is to score a touchdown. Haven't done it this year, but hopefully it's coming. A coach, a special team coach, Coach Conway, he tell us he don't like us dancing around the backfield. He don't like us trying to make cuts and stuff and find a hole. He tell us hit the hole and just run. And that's all I do. I go off of my blocks. I look. I wait for my block to develop, and soon I see the hole, I just hit it. I don't make cuts or anything, I just go.
Uh, the first thing as a punt returner, what happens is the center snaps the ball. And you watch, you can watch your, your line and your two outside wings to see how good they blocked. And when you hear when you see the uh, when you see the punter punt it and hear it, you gotta look up and watch the ball for a minute. And when I'm going, I watch it, I watch it, I look up, look up, look back, look back, see where everyone's at, look back up, find the ball, and maybe, maybe look back down one, once or twice before I catch the ball. And I make sure I ensure the catch, and then I just, you know, go from there. It's, it's uh, pretty crazy once you catch the ball. You know, you don't have much time most of the time, and uh, you just, you know, find the grass and run as fast as you can. After the break, second half highlights. Bobcat Profiles is sponsored by Central Texas Medical Center. Not all ground beef is created equal, and the difference is this guy. The certified meat cutter you'll find at every HEB. Grinding the best beef in Texas, fresh in the store, several times every day. Not shipping it in from, well, wherever. It's so fresh, there's a darn good chance your beef left the grinder after you left the house. A miracle? No. To these guys, it's just the daily grind. No store does more to bring you great ground beef at low prices than HEB. Hey guys, this kick is for the win. Label's out. Here we go. Wait, what? Our proximity to the field creates a parallel connection between the bottle and the ball. The outward facing label simulates a smoother contact surface for the kicker. It's like magic, only real. Really? Yeah. Bud Light, for the fans who do whatever it takes. Second half highlights are sponsored by Bud Light. The second half begins with the Cats trailing La Tech 41-34. After an early Bulldog touchdown, Texas State now faces a two-score deficit. Looking to get out of the hole, the offensive line paints one for Marcus Curry, who bounces off of tacklers before finally being brought down 31 yards later, the La Tech 39. Curry had a big night for the Bobcats, and so did Bradley Miller. A career-high five catches for the Texas State tied in, including this grab for 22 yards to keep the drive moving. Texas State burned La Tech with the option all night and run it again with Sean Rutherford waiting patiently before pitching the football to Terrence Franks, who gets a big block from Isaiah Battle and scores his second touchdown, bringing the cast to within 48-41. Did we mention the option worked well for Texas State Saturday? But because the Bulldogs couldn't stop it, the Bobcats just kept running it. This time it's Tim Hawkins on the pitch who picks up 25 yards on the play. The drive continues into the fourth quarter. On third and eight from the 12, Rutherford freezes the defense with a pump fake and delivers a strike to Bradley Miller for his second touchdown of the night, a play worthy of high fives from Chase Harper and ties the game at 48. After another Bulldog touchdown, it's 55-48 La Tech. The Bobcat defense looking to make a stop, get a big open field tackle from Tylon Robertson who brings down Kenneth Dixon for a loss of two. That tackle led to a three and out for the Bulldogs, but later in the fourth, the Cats now trail 62-48. Weatherford looking to lead a comeback, scrambles for 19 yards near midfield. And now faced with third and 14 for the La Tech 48, Weatherford floats a pass to Javis Gaines who stumbles but picks up just enough for a first down. 
Rutherford came up big for the Bobcats on their final drive, leading Texas State all the way down to the one-yard line. On third and goal, the Bobcats senior quarterback calls his own number and scores to bring the cast to within a touchdown with just over a minute left of play. But the ensuing onside kick is recovered by the Bulldogs and a wild four-hour affair finally comes to a close from Bobcat Stadium as the upset falls short. The final score, number 18, Louisiana Tech 62, Texas State 55. Coach, we just saw the highlights from Saturday, Saturday night's game. Again, exciting football game. Everybody entertained. ESPN television and radio audiences engaged. Offensively, just some of the numbers. You look at Marcus Curry, ends up with 180 yards of total offense, three touchdowns. Sean Rutherford threw for 234, ran for 90 more, was involved in three touchdowns directly himself. And Bradley Miller. A career night for him, five catches, 65 yards, and a couple of touchdowns. Uh, everything was working against the Bulldogs on, on Saturday. Uh, all aspects, uh, the run game, the pass game, and everything was well uh, well taken care of. The, the offensive line, I think, deserves some credit for um, good protection and, and what they did in the running game blocking-wise. I thought Coach Schultz called some marvelous plays in the game at the right time, and he deserves some credit, as the entire offensive staff does, for, for what we were able to do in, in moving the ball like that. You mentioned the offensive line. <clears throat> the offensive line starting lineup on Saturday, two redshirt freshmen, a sophomore, Charlie Will Tuttle, who didn't start every game last year, and at one tackle, a guy who came here as a tight end, other tackle, guy who came here as a defensive tackle. <laughs> Coach Darnell's done a tremendous job with that group. Well, he has. It's been a, a real um, um, labor to put this unit together because uh, when we got here last, our, our first year, two years ago, there were four seniors on scholarship and then just two or three other guys in the underclass ranks. So uh, it's going to take us a while to get this line built completely the way we want it to, but he's done a great job with, with getting it to where it is now today. We've already spoken about the challenge that the defense had against the Bulldogs on Saturday. Texas A&M, Houston, Illinois, Virginia, established FBS programs have had trouble slowing down La Tech. Yeah, we, we weren't the first ones on that. They hang about 50 uh, up every game, it seems like. Uh, New Mexico State's the only one that really slowed them down very much for whatever reason. And they were uh, a machine on offense. I mean, their, their quarterback just uh, doesn't throw at one where he isn't uh, supposed to throw it. Their running backs did well. Their offensive line played good. Uh, that's probably as good an offensive ball club as, as we've seen this year. Post-game locker room, I know your, your guys aren't looking for moral victories, but was there some pride in that locker room? Well, as I mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast, I, was, I told them I was proud of their fight and how they played and uh, their togetherness. Their, our sideline was great. Um, disappointed that we lost and we don't take uh, resolution in a moral victory, and we never should. It should hurt to lose. All right, Coach, a nationally ranked team in the rearview mirror. <coughs> Next up, a, a Navy team already bowl-bound. We're going to step aside for a moment. We'll come back a little bit later and talk about the midshipmen. Next, we catch up with head coach Karen Chisholm and the Bobcat Volleyball Program. Hey, Bobcat fans, like us on Facebook and follow us at TX State Bobcats on Twitter. Keep up to date, learn new things, and win free stuff. Innovation. Exploration. Creative discovery. These are the trademarks of Texas State University. As the state's newest emerging research university, we're transforming your world one mind at a time. Your world. Our research. Texas State University, the rising star of Texas. Welcome to Bud Light Fantasy Football, where every bottle is a player. My Bud Light threw for four TDs. Draft players using codes on specially marked bottles of Bud Light. Mine won the game with a 60-yard field goal. 
Manage your team at BudLight.com slash FFL. My Bud Light fumbled at the three-yard line. My Bud Light extended my winning streak. When Bud Light is on your roster, every game is a win. My Bud Light made him cry. Bud Light Fantasy Football. Start building your team today. Weatherford on the option, hands off to Curry, close, 40, 35, 20, 15, they will not catch him today, touchdown Marcus Curry. Curry, 65 yards, touchdown, oh, yeah. oh, 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 let's go, let's go. <laughs> Coach, we're here again in the President's Suite at Bobcat Stadium. Bobcats head back on the road to travel to Annapolis, Maryland to take on the United States Naval Academy. Of course, we just celebrated Veterans Day just, you know, yesterday. And I know one of the things that the Bobcats will get out of this trip is it's going to be a tremendous experience and a tremendous football game. A lot involved this week. You know, I, I think it always is when you play the academies. You have so much respect for... Uh, those men and what they do and how they do it and the discipline and integrity and leadership and character and the heart with which they play the game and I know at the end of the game our team will go over to their student body and the cadets and as they sing their alma mater fight song at the end of the game to um, give a gesture of our respect for what they do for our country and uh, I think it's important that our players understand that. Head coach Ken Niamatololo has a football team that just saw a five-game winning streak come to an end. We know that. We also know that the midshipmen have been running the option seemingly forever. What challenges are the Navy, gonna, Navy midshipmen going to present for the Bobcat defense? Well, their, their offense is totally unique to anything we've seen. Um, you know, changing gears from Louisiana Tech to, to Navy presents its own set of problems, certainly. And, uh, you, you've got to play disciplined, hard-nosed, dive, quarterback, pitch football, a little more assignment football on defense than, than ever before. And they have so many different ways they can block it and, and pick people up. So uh, you, you really have to have everything in order. And then after you take care of your assignment with the dive, you've got to keep playing on to the quarterback and to the pitch. And pursuit becomes a great factor for us uh, to try to slow this unit down. And they, they are a good offensive team. I go to the other side of the ball, and, and defensively, what I've seen <laughs> Navy, a number of different fronts, maybe a challenge as far as blocking seams go. And you look at the numbers, everybody likes numbers. Five of their opponents, they've held to 21 points or, or less. Looks like they're solid on the defensive side of the ball. You know, part of the, they are solid on defense. And part of their um, management of a game is that you're not on, on the field as much. And uh, we have to be very efficient. And, and uh, you may only get eight drives in this game, two, two and a quarters. Uh, maybe nine uh, if they hold on to the ball and you can't get off the field and uh, so you, you, be, you have to make the most of them uh, and, and do it the best way and uh, I think to play an academy and win unless you're just uh, eons more talented than them uh, you, you kinda gotta play their game and, and not get penalties and not make mistakes and not turn the ball over uh, and, and play as disciplined and, and uh, uh, well-prepared as they will play this game, and then you'll have a chance to win the football game. All right, Coach. Well, tremendous luck against the midshipmen in a game that's going to be watched and followed literally around the world. We will see you in Annapolis on Saturday. All right. Bobcat Volleyball Program embraced the challenge of the WAC this season, making the conference tournament in San Antonio, marking the 10th straight year the Bobcats have reached the postseason. We've improved a lot. We've improved a lot. We've still got young, young players. We're a young team, but I'm extremely proud of the way that they've worked this, this year. I'm pleased to know right now, three matches left, we could mathematically move to second or we could go to seventh. It's a jumble right in the middle, just like soccer was. We had three, and this is no excuses, but we've had three fairly key injuries. And not that, not that they were starters, but they were all hitters. So we went from 10 hitters to seven. Um, we don't have a lot of depth right now, um, but the kids that are playing are really doing a, a pretty decent job. I'm, I'm proud of them. Put a lot of miles on my Southwest card this year. Um, Delta, Alaska Airlines. Um, no, I think it's Dev. We're glad that we are at home. And I say at home, we're glad we're in Texas 50 miles up the road. Plus, we get to bring our fans. Our fans, we have not been home much this year. 
I know a lot of people think volleyball didn't even exist at Texas State this fall. Um, so it's nice to have that last tournament in the vicinity. Pizza Hut's Big Dinner Box puts all your favorites in one epic box so you can build the perfect dinner. The best part, how you fill it is up to you. For a limited time, get two medium one-topping pizzas, five breadsticks with marinara, and your choice of wings, Tuscany pasta, or four stuffed pizza rollers. All just $19.99. And right now, when you order the Big Dinner Box online, score a free two-liter Pepsi. Only at your Pizza Hut. Make it great. How do you show your Bobcat pride? Now you can show it off and keep your money here at Texas State. Because whenever you buy at the University Bookstore at Texas State, that money stays here on campus. Apparel, books, gifts, and much more. Online or in the heart of Bobcat country, find it, get it, and keep it on campus. University Bookstore at Texas State, your bookstore. Tonight we came out and we watched our Texas State Bobcats put 55 points on the number 19 team in the country and lose by seven. They worked and they worked in a game that a lot of people didn't come to because they said we were gonna lose by 100. And so if you're asking me if I'm happy, if I'm pleased, if I like the fact that we're at the FBS level now, I'm going to tell you absolutely yes. You can ask me today, you can ask me tomorrow, you can ask me next season, I'm going to tell you yes every single time. Welcome to the President's Suite at Bobcat Stadium. Brand, glad to have you here on Saturday night. You and I were witness to a spectacular display of offensive football. Many stadium records were broken here at Bobcat Stadium. When you combine the numbers between Louisiana Tech and Texas State, it was incredible. It was, Bill. I mean, you could start with a number seven, seven video replays in the first half. That was a sight to see. Um, you know, the, and the game really had, really had everything. Uh, there was a receiver pass for a touchdown, Hawkins to Marcus Curry. There was Bradley Miller catching two touchdown passes, a player who had never had one in his career. And the total points scored and the total offense between the two, over 1,200 yards, that was a Bobcat Stadium record. But maybe the most unique player, uh, unique number was zero. Zero turnovers in a game that had 178 plays. Yeah, it just speaks to the efficiency offensively for both football teams. And uh, that segues to the Bobcats' upcoming opponent, the, the midshipmen of Navy. Unlike what we saw from La Tech, you're going to see a huddle from Navy mm -hmm. and a whole lot of options. That's right. The midshipmen are 6-4, and four, that after a 1-3 and three start. And we know this, you know, years of seeing Nichols play into Mexico from earlier this year, preparing for the triple option offense is, a, is always a very difficult thing to do. Assignment uh, football eye discipline and one thing we've seen for example San Jose State do in stopping Navy's option is attack mode being aggressive creating turnovers uh, Navy's got a new quarterback right now than than they had early on in the season he's a good one yeah Keenan Reynolds is, is a good quarterback and also has thrown for over 700, 700 yards this year, so you, this year so you have to watch out for that um, and you know we know this that to stop the option you've got to slow down the quarterback play and make his decisions more difficult. It's going to be a tremendous atmosphere in Annapolis. Uh, I grew up in that area. First football game I ever went to was an Army Navy game. Bobcat fans going on the trip of course the the football program are in for a treat. Yes they are you know it certainly Navy offers a, quite the game day atmosphere and you look at the uh, the season as, as a whole so far for the Bobcats. It's been really a one uh, memorable season to this point. You start with the season opening upset of Houston to the home opener against Texas Tech. It's really some of the whack opponents the Bobcats have played, namely last week against La Tech. This Saturday, Navy is going to add to the lore of the 2012 season. Well, I'm looking forward to being in the booth with you. I'm looking forward to myself, Bill. Well, that's going to do it for this week's show. Tune in again next week as we look ahead to a rivalry game against UTSA. For everybody on Inside Bobcat Football, I'm Brant Freeman reminding you that United we fan. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.
Inside Bobcat Football is sponsored by HEB, Bud Light, and Central Texas Medical Center.